uh, Facebook live session of Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Security Studies. Today is, as you know, is the second anniversary of the Holy Artisan Incident, and so we are um, talking on various issues regarding um, radicalization. Right now, we're going to talk about female radicalization, and we have our research intern, Tashfia Islam Turna, with us. And she is going to highlight about female radicalization. Tuna, can you highlight some drivers of female radicalization and point out some possible prevention mechanisms for uh, of this phenomenon in Bangladesh? Thank you, and good afternoon, viewers. Today is the second anniversary of the Holy Artisan Bakery incident, which rattled the whole nation. Even after this sort of massive terror attack, efforts of carrying out these sort of similar incidents are still on. And the most concerning part is women are also engaging themselves into, into these sort of violent attacks. So female radicalization is one of the ongoing trends of Bangladesh right now. I'm going to point out some drivers behind female radicalization. So the first driver is socioeconomic driver. The socioeconomic condition of our country is not very friendly for the women. The ties with educational, professional institutions and also with families are not as strong as men. So the radical groups are using these factors as their weapon to radicalize women and lure them into violent extremism. The second driver is political driver. So the political stability of our country is not up to the mark and sometimes the government is incapable of tackling violent political violences. So women are getting rebellious and countering political violences with violence. Sorry. So the third driver is psychological driver. Uh, Women of our country are not exposed to proper religious education. So the radical extremist groups are using this weapon and manipulating the women by the misinterpretation of religious views. The fourth driver is mass media. Mass media works as a catalyst in any sort of chemical reaction. So when any incident occurs, there is a visible chain of similar incident and women get motivation from those incidents which are broadcasted by mass media and conduct various violent acts. So in order to counter this sort of violent extremism and female radicalization, we should empower the women of our country financially and also professionally. And there is a proverb which says that uh, an idle mind is devil's workshop. So we should let them explore more and search for new opportunity. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for enlightening us about your views on how to counter female radicalization in Bangladesh. So we are going to end the session now. Please uh, tune in to watch the next Facebook session live on, uh, on the issue of Female radicalization. Right, uh, on the issue of uh, radicalization in uh, other various aspects at 4.15 p.m. Thank you so much.